हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू इंस्टॉल जैम्प सर्वर ऑन विंडोज टेन स्टेप बाई स्टेप वेल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द जैम्प सर्वर इन पर्टिकुलर जैम्प सर्वर सॉफ्टवेयर गिवस यू अ सूटेबल एनवायरमेंट फॉर टेस्टिंग माई एस क्यू एल पी एच पी Apache and Perl projects on the local computer. Now let's move on and let's download our Zamp server. To download your Zamp server, go to your favorite browser and just write "download Zamp" and just hit enter, and you will get this link. And this link will take you to the official website of Apache. And here we have a different version available for Windows. If you scroll down, here we have different versions available for Linux. and down here we also have zamp server available for mac operating system the installation process for all these operating system is same so let's download zamp server for our windows i will download the latest one as you can see it is a 8.0.7 so i will just click on this download button and a new tab will open i have already downloaded it so that is why it says add a duplicate and overwrite the existing file so i will just cancel it in your case it will not show you this message so download your zamp server and now i will show you that how to install it so go to the directory where you have downloaded your zamp server and now you just need to double click on your zamp server file so here it is starting the process it might show you some warning message but do not worry about it and just click on okay here click on next now these are the things which will get installed into my system you can make changes in this selection as well i will go with the default one and this is the directory where my zamp server will get installed so in case if you want to change this directory you just need to click on this folder icon and from here you can go to any directory where you want to install your zamp server in zamp server we only get two languages i'm going with english so click on next again click on next and now it has opened a web page do not worry about it i will get back to my installation now click on next again now it has started the process of installation of zamp into our windows 10 it will take about 10 to 15 minutes so wait for it to get it completed and after that we will see how it works so we are done with the installation now finish this one and our zamp server will open up this is our zamp server so now let's talk about this one these are the services or you can say module which are available like we have apache mysql we have mercury we have tomcat and here we will have process ids and here we will get the ports number where our services will be running so let's see what it mean in actual so i will just click on the start button here it is asking for the access so i will allow the access and here you can see that apache is running port 80 what if you want to change this port or if you want to see that what we can do with these ports for that just click on this button which says net start click on it and here we have all the information here you can see that we have apache running on port 80 and here we have different other services which are running on different ports number and these are the process ids with different services i will just close this one now what if in case we have more than one service which need the same port for example at the moment apache is running on port 80 what if if i have some other service which also require port 80 what i can do i can change the port here for that just click on this config button and from here go for first option in this text file scroll down and here we have listen 80 what we can do we can change this one so i will make it 8080 80. i will change that one as well now press control s and close this file i will stop the service and now i will start the service again and here you can see that we have changed our port number earlier it was running on 80 and now it is running on 8080 80. you can do same thing with other module or other services as well and this is how our zamp server work and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well if you have something to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care